Hey, good morning everyone. Hope you're well. Today is going to be a good day. We've got our virtual bake off. What's our virtual bake off? I'll tell you more, but first I've got to go and find the Christmas hats because we have to wear our Christmas hats for this virtual bake off. Okay. We don't often come into the, the garage. That's the box we want. What do you reckon? This one? Yeah. Okay. No. What about this one? Magic pudding? It's not a magic pudding, it's Christmas pudding. I like it. Okay. Uh, I think we found the hat. So some of you know that I work for a company called Adopt and Embrace and we help organizations uh, use Microsoft 365 for all their teamwork, collaboration, their uh, business processes. But that aside, I want to say that Adopt and Embrace is a virtual remote company and that is how I have been working like for the last few years. So all my colleagues, I've never seen them in real life. Well, sorry, a lie. I've seen them three times in my life <laughs> all together. So it makes for an interesting um, work experience, and especially when we need to organize team work events. It's not impossible, it's just different. And so today they had an idea to do a virtual bake-off and it's going to be fun. I've never participated in a virtual bake-off and I know many people have, especially during COVID, you probably would have participated in online um, presentations and tutorials or coaching with various restaurants or other, I guess, companies who might run this kind of um, activity. I went shopping last night to go get the ingredients, so I've got all that. And Jen, my colleague, is going to teach us her secret recipe. It's not going to be a secret anymore on her Christmas Rocky Road and Christmas Bark. So I'm really excited about the session today. It's going to be interesting. We have to wear our <laughs> Christmas hats, get into the spirit, get online and get cooking, baking. Okay, I think it's time to join now. <laughs> Everybody loves it. You've had it before, haven't you? Yes. Alright. Popping the popcorn first. We need exact instructions because. Right, we're going back in, hold on. Like, I have no idea. Are we going to use the marshmallows for um, for two recipes or one? We don't know. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll take over. So, what we want to do now, guys, is bring the chocolate snakes. Yeah. That's the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me too. I think I'm ready to put one in the fridge. Put it in the fridge? Yeah. Now, it's eventually overnight if you can wait that long. 
I was told her good cook cleans as she goes. I'm not a good cook, but I'm just gonna stick everything right. into the dishwasher. Now we're doing another one. Is something else? Yeah, we're doing another one. Okay. So the second recipe is some Christmas bark. White chocolate, nice and thin, sprinkle with cranberries and something else I've forgotten already. Did you hear that? It's cranberries and peanuts. Me too. Oh, there they are. So I've got these little sandbags that I've picked up at a $2 shop. All right? And I just fill those with Rocky Road and with shards and give the boys kiss. Bye. Bye. Thanks again, Jim. See everyone. Enjoy. Bye. And that was it. It took us a little bit over an hour. It was a lot of good fun got everyone involved and other members of the family and now we can enjoy eating this confectionery and have a story to say so this might be of interest if you're interested in doing some kind of remote activity with your team and getting members involved and members of the family so so that's it I'm going to sign off now get back to work to edit this video bye for now